What's up guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to talk about objections, okay? It's a huge, huge, huge part of the game. Very rarely talked about around the selection and pickup community and forums. Okay, objections are super, super key, okay? I have a slide here that's part of my Chrono Pickup product where I talk about where do objections come from, okay? I write here, girls typically have natural reservations no matter who the guy is or how cool he seems. Okay, objections are very, very, very normal, very natural. When I was doing door-to-door -door sales for a summer to see how it related to game, I had a friend that was telling me, if you're not getting objections, the person's not interested. Okay, it's, it should be expected in almost every interaction. That's just a normal part of the dance. Okay, when I run my night game boot camps, my live trainings, I say to guys, when you try to take the girl home, when you say my pull scripts, take the girl home, she's going to give you typically one or more of what I've identified as 14 different main objections when you try to pull from Night King, okay? Just rattling them off in no particular order as they come to mind. Uh, the girl will say, I can't leave my friends. She will say, we just got here. She will say, we have to stay till the end. On weekdays, they will say, I have to be up early, okay? She'll say something in the form of a sexual, sexual objection. You're just trying to get laid tonight. You're just trying to fuck, okay? You're just trying to hook up. She will say... Uh, other crazy stuff <laughs> regarding safety. How do I know you're not a serial killer? How do I know you're not a murderer? Etc. 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 Okay, I'm sure you guys have all heard these things. If you have not, you have probably never ran a night game interaction because they come up time and time and time again. Okay, the good news is in that night game arena, I've, ident I've identified the 14 main and ones in the optimized objection answers to each one. That's why I talk about frequently the movie The Wolf of Wall Street, which is still my favorite movie right now. He says, okay, when you try to do this, they're going to say this. So what do you say? And he's training them exactly how to answer those objections. Okay, so if you're armed in advance, I made a video before about Sun Tzu in The Art of War. He says the battle is won before it's even fought. Okay, so you want to be armed with the optimized objection answers. Okay, I write here, the girl wants to make sure she'll be safe, comfortable, able to get home safely if she goes with you, have a way to exit or get out if things become awkward or weird and not be viewed as a slut if she hooks up with you, okay? Now, with coronavirus and these fucking exciting times where the world is turned upside down, uh, girls are going to have coronavirus-specific objections during this pandemic, okay? The two forms that they come in the most, okay, the girls are going to say they don't want to get infected with coronavirus and or bring it back to their family and friends. They're also going to say they don't want to violate the social distancing recommendation, slash order depending on which country you're in or go against the social norm to stay inside or stay quarantined okay the good, the good news is i've come up with ways to beat these objections very effectively okay and a lot of guys including my brother my own flesh and blood have said oh you're promoting uh the spread of coronavirus no okay it ultimately comes down to if you're okay with meeting up with a girl one-on-one -on -one. i personally do not see it as a big deal okay you walk into any supermarket and there's scores of people all interacting and, and touching different things, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it still ultimately is your own decision if you want to meet up with a fucking girl during coronavirus, but this could go on for a very, very long time. And I'm giving you the tools if you still wish to, do, to meet up with the chip, okay? So in that product, I go over exactly how to, to, how to answer those coronavirus specific objections. And I have a master flowchart that covers all the other objections. Okay, so I remove the objection responses from that chart, but let's take a quick look at that. So this chart here, I move my face. This chart here is part of the product, okay? These are all the different types of objections that will come out over text message when you're meeting girls from online game. Okay, the, the product is very, very, very geared towards online game. And because why? Because we can't meet people in bars and clubs right now. And people are, are generally not out in public. So day game, which I don't typically like anyways, or, or teach as being that effective, is not really much of a thing right now either. Okay, so looking at each one of these really quick, all the pieces I removed are the exact text messages to send to optimally answer those different things that come up. Okay, so let's, we've all run into this shit, right? Ignoring. What happens if she ignores two texts in a row? What do you do? Okay, what happens if she ignores two texts in a row again? What do you do? 
Logistics objections. The girl might say, hey, I'd prefer to meet in my area. Okay, why do you not want to do that? Why do you not want to meet in her area or meet halfway? That fucks the logistics for bringing her back to, to your house, okay? Or she might say, I'm bringing a friend or I can't come without, without my friend or meet me with my friends, okay? I teach you how to answer that. Safety objections, I don't feel safe, okay? And this is gonna be, I, I have a whole section on framing to the house and all this stuff to get the girl to the house because I do have an innovative solution about how to do public dates during the, the coronavirus pandemic. I'm not going to get into that now, but most of your dates are going to be straight to the house. And when I did that 18 girls in three days, that was mostly on an online game and almost all straight to the house. I had some limited ones that we would meet at Starbucks first. That was down at the end of the block. Okay. They're going to also give no sex or hookup objections. They can't come to the house or they're not feeling safe coming to the house. I'm going to teach you how to answer that. If they still insist on not coming to the house, insist on the public, um, I have some things to consider here. Okay. How is your schedule looking? Is she hot enough? Um, is she super hot? Is it a popular time slot, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? Exact text to send. Okay, location objections. She doesn't have transport. Hookup objections. You're just looking for a hookup. You just want sex, not looking for one night stand. Okay, or she's traveling, or she doesn't drink because some of my straight to the house stuff is geared around splitting a bottle of wine, but I have other, there's plenty of clients that don't drink or, or guys out there that are trying to learn this don't drink. And so I have the exact message for that. Um, if the girl's not ready to give her number out yet, let me just check because I have a Uber on the way. Okay, I have about two minutes. Check. Um, if she's not ready to give her number out yet, okay, she never gives her number out, not ready to give her number out yet, still insists not giving her number out. Th these are the exact situations you're going to run into most of the time, right? This is like the 90% case. I give you the exact text to send. That's how the whole product is built, okay? It tells you what to do in every situation. The exact text to send. The exact way to run seven profiles in parallel. That's right, seven profiles as one person. I'm gonna teach you how to run seven online game profiles, five on Tinder, one on Bumble, one on Hinge, okay? During coronavirus. And then the next big piece is to answer these objections. And in this beautiful chart here, we'll get the girl over to your house, okay? And then going back to that other slide really quick, I'm going to teach you how to answer the coronavirus specific objections. All right, this girl is here. I just want to make this video quick, um, showing the importance of objections. Okay, if night game was still relevant, there's 14 there. That stuff's in Occam's razor. Um, but I want to remind you guys really quick, um, whoever signs up for this product gets a free call with me personally and access to my mastermind for a month where there's Facebook Lives Weekly. The product is $49 and it is really, really solid and it's going to be useful for the rest of your life. Okay. The, there's spots devoted to Corona, but it's, it's super effective, uh, beyond Corona as well. Okay. It's basically an online game on steroids, absolutely destroying, uh, online game. And this chick that's coming here is a hairstylist, one of my rotation chicks. So I will be getting a haircut during this quarantine as well. And she'll be dressed in lingerie by my request. Uh, <laughs> okay. So I can't stress enough how important objection handling is. I've had a top sales trainer uh, that's a good friend of mine run some boot camps with me before. He tells guys with sales, you need to know the top objections like the back of your hand. Um, okay, she's outside my door. So I hope this was helpful, guys. Uh, it's another taste into what's included in the product. And, what, and guys like, why can't you just give us? If it, this is like shit that's the result of like, over 12,000 phone number leads, like rigorous analysis and testing and utilizing, you know, all my best contacts in the game, other advanced guys, etc. This is not shit I get out for free. If you can't afford 50 bucks, even during quarantine, you've got a lot of other big fucking problems. Okay. I don't even know how you're, how you're going to eat dinner. Um, Oi. Si, 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 un momento, por favor. Si, si. All right. All right. Thank you guys so much. Look out tomorrow for an interview with Joe Gunn. He's my top coach on my team. Uh, he co-created the, the product with me. We're going to be making a special video. Um, we might do a Facebook Live this weekend as well. Okay, guys. Thank you so much, for, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.